and we're recording. This morning I was sitting right in this very location facing this, this exact direction when right over there, a few feet away, a young woman came up and leaned against the car that may or may not have been hers and don't want to misquote her because I did earlier in a message. She said, uh, do you mind if I ask you why you sit here every day? And I said, yes, I do mind. Because I'm not going to keep repeating the same shit over and over again for everybody who fucking comes up here and wants to fucking dig around and get into something. It isn't going to happen. Then when she was kind of shocked, she then, and I want to tell you, it's I'll have may have to do a second. If you want to learn about sociopaths, there are plenty of videos available on YouTube of people, sociopaths, who are now dead and they can legally use their statements. One of the ways you get into people's life is asking them, uh, can I mow your lawn? Your, your, can I, oh, here, I brought you some groceries. It's, but she asked, uh, after I refused to give her the, the low down, the skinny, she goes uh, kind of pointing over her shoulder towards Starbucks to ask me if uh, she could get me something. And I said, no. Uh, oh, she said, uh, Something like, uh, may I get you something? And I go, no, you may not. I was being very polite. Because for one thing, I still have at least a day's worth of food on hand, which even though it's properly packaged and stuff, people don't realize that exposure to sunlight and heat degrades stuff even though it's properly packaged. This is two minutes, I'm out. Please, y'all are not being nice to me. I'm not, not going to be nice in return. And like I told you, Sociopaths always get into your life by asking if they could do something for you. You might want to look that up on YouTube. A lot of really good old videos on that. Every time somebody says that, they may have good intentions. May have good intentions, but that still triggers a warning in my head because I'm not stupid unlike all the other homeless people you run into. I'm probably one of the best educated people in Pflugerville or in Austin for that matter. Later.